We're back with another episode of Bully Beatdown. Season 2, Episode 9, Garrett the Psycho Nutjob. Mayhem Miller brings an NFL player turned pro MMA fighter Michael Westbrook to help victims Nicholas and Eric. Tonight on Bully Beatdown. Nicholas and Eric are up to their asses in crazy. I'm a f tank. I run through everything. Garrett isn't just... Okay. Okay, producers, producers are crazy. They're saying do this. And he said, okay. I'm crazy town. He's the mayor. I'm gonna kick your ass every six ways, but run. Look at his face. Look at his stupid fing face and his stupid fing tattoo. You know what I mean? Look at him. I wanna, I, he needs to get destroyed, this guy. Mayhem, you gotta help me out. There's this guy, Garrett. I've known him for a couple years now, and he's just been making my life a living hell. I'm scared of this guy, you know, just every time I'm around him, I, I don't I don't know what he's gonna do. He's so unpredictable. Emotional shots, uh, looking down in great confusion and great, he's pensive, right? He's pensive. I was at this party one night, you know, Garrett came up to me, he's like, uh, hey dude, your girlfriend's a s I was like, what are you talking about, man? Well, he said he's been sleeping with my girlfriend for a while. Okay, so let's establish this. He's banging your girl two ways from Sunday, and he's the bad guy? He's not the bad guy. She was a trifling individual. He did you a favor, because if it wasn't gonna be Garrett, it was gonna be somebody else. Kinda sucks, he just kinda took her from me. It's what he no, somebody else would've took her, all right? He does, he just takes things from people. Like, she, she meant the world to me, and... He's a hoe, my man. What do you need? He did you a favor. You should be paying him. You know, losing her, I, I lost everything. You know, I'm not, I know I'm never gonna get her back or anything, but uh, you seeing him get his ass kicked, you know, it's really gonna make me feel a lot better about it. Oh, really? You're gonna feel better? All right, so you know how people say that high school is supposed to be the best years of your life, right? <sighs> Should I go after him? I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna stay away from what you all see. Well, Garrett pretty much turned out the opposite way and probably the worst years of my life. Why do you get a tattoo of 1989? Because I was born in 1989. Deep. I told Garrett a little secret about me having erectile dysfunction, so... Ooh, you're too young for the erectile... So if this is fake and he has the balls to say this on national television, like, the confidence he must have, like, you've ruined your sex life for at least another few years. And I'm bringing it back now in 2022, so no one's gonna fuck you. If you had erectile dysfunction when you were a late teen, early 20s, your p***s ain't working these days. There's no way the works. There's nothing funny about that. If you're an older gentleman, but you can pop a pill hard like a rock, you know what I mean? They had Cialis back then, they had Viagra back then, but 19? What happened? So he thinks it's funny that he goes around, he posts flyers around school, put my picture on it, and that says, I have ED. Pretty much ruined my relationship Thank with God. girls throughout high school. Didn't have friends at all. I'd walk through the halls and people would give me weird looks like I was not even human. I thought this story was gonna end in high school, but Garrett continues to push this to people. Ma'am, I want to regain my self-respect, and I want Garrett to apologize to me on national TV. I really need your help. That's a man who has erectile dysfunction. That walk, if you, if you ever see a guy walking like that, do me a favor, stop him and say, it's gonna be all right, man. Viagra. I'm angry. You need to push me, man. I'm a tank. I run through everything. In general, I don't consider myself a bully. I just consider everyone else around me just weak and pathetic. Oh, yeah! Do something! I bet you won't do shit. Nicholas has this girlfriend they've been dating for like two years. This girl's too hot for him, so I thought I might step in and intervene and actually show her what a real man can do in bed just so he could sit there and wallow in self-pity like a little tiny bitch. Oh, the way he said that. The way he said bitch was just impeccable. The impeccable delivery. Oh, yeah. Eric has this quote unquote medical condition, which I thought it was extremely funny. And I made up a bunch of flyers. Had his name, a picture of him, and the name of his medical condition. And I posted it all around school. Saw it for a couple of laughs. Ha ha ha. Maybe it's at their expense. So what? Ha. If we were to play butt darts, would you go first or second? I'd go first. Right. A little mystery never hurt anyone. It's like Christmas time. All right. Looks like you're gonna get a beat down. I gotta pee. Looking forward to it. He should be looking forward to it. What am I looking forward to? I'm looking forward to you guys leaving a like, subscribing, and turning on post notifications. We need you to do that. It helps the channel, and it helps you. Let's face it, you're enjoying the content. Might as well know when it's getting posted. Let's get back into it. I've got the perfect therapist. His name is Mr. 
Michael Westbrook. Let's go. We remember Michael Westbrook. He was in a previous episode that we covered, and he absolutely destroyed the bully. Yeah. This is Michael Westbrook. A former NFL player, he stands six foot three and weighs two hundred. Can't get any more vascular. Pounds. He's a black belt in Taekwondo, a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and was a 2008 World Jiu Jitsu champion. Beating people down, he freaking beat up. You see that guy he beat up? Looking like Michael Jordan on the sauce. Jared, I'm gonna beat the crazy right out of you. Ooh, that's a good one, Lana. Yeah, fellas, what's up? What's up, JJ? What up, man? Mike, man, what's Eric, man, how's it going? What's going on? Tell me the story. What, what, what's happening with well, your boy? I mean, this guy is like kind of took my girlfriend, man. He stole her, <laughs> basically. He posted flyers of me having ED for everybody to see around high school. He put his hands on you ever? Yeah, like, all the time. Like all the time. He just pushes you around. And he just doesn't care really. No one can stop him. You know? Oh yeah. We'll yeah. see about that. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna take this guy's lunch money. <laughs> I hope, man. Okay. Thank you, man. And I'm gonna kick his ass on MTV. Michael Westbrook was born in Detroit, Michigan, and educated at the University of Colorado, and now resides in Arizona. Garrett, on the other hand, is clearly an alien from planet Wackadoo. Advantage? Earthly. All right, so he's from Parts Unknown. If you know who's also from Parts Unknown, leave a comment below. laugh that laugh is what we live for we've, we've been on hiatus with it but the <laughs> come on <laughs> he's a triathlete specializing in supplement eating girlfriend stealing and property destroying he is the psycho meathead Garrett. big Garrett feeling himself <laughs> when you're too dumb to know you're in danger I have a perfectly good door right there man Pipe down, man. Pipe down. Don't worry. You're gonna get your chance to get it on. Don't you worry. Hope you're not planning on going to the bank today. Ain't gonna happen. So let's bring out your fighter. I want to see his reaction during this process, where he sees his opponent walk into the cage. Wide receiver with a black belt in Taekwondo and a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, a 2008 Jiu Jitsu World Champion with a Now look at him. Victories. A little concern. Mild concern. Six foot three inches, weighing 212 pounds. Hiding it. Michael Westbrook! Come on, come on. Look at him, look at him. You see that body walking towards you? You're not excited about it. Oh, yeah, mild concern. Look at the ED kid. He's like, ha ha ha. Who's got the soft now, pal? Go down. Ah, the eyes, they opened up really wide. Cause the insane act, not that he isn't partially you know, a little slow, but the insane guy, I'm not scared of anyone, is starting to wash away and you can see it. The eyes don't lie. I love it. Yo, did you see that? Come on, go back, see that. You saw the look down? When you go into a man's face and he looks straight down like that, he's done. Not only are you a moron and a bully, I'm gonna give you a beating. Yo, did you see that? The fear in his eyes is just, the enjoyment I get from that, priceless. All right, they're coming out. Let's see Michael Westbrook, what he can get off on this kid. The kid's definitely strong, but he's, he's paralyzed by fear. He pulls guard. Man, that is dangerous. I've injured a few people pulling guard, and I'm I'm not as big as what, actually, I might be heavier than Westbrook. I forgot what his weight was, but either way, I pulled guard, I don't know the most recent time I pulled guard, with the guillotine in the absolute division, so I was significantly heavier, and all of my weight landed on the kid's knee, and definitely maybe tore the hamstring or broke the leg, and I didn't know until the end, or a partial tear was pretty bad. I thought that it was the guillotine he tapped from, but I didn't even get to squeeze it because the leg gave out. You gotta be very careful pulling guard, and definitely don't do it in training. Oh, no. Oh, Yo, wait a second. No, no, no. My man just did a backside 50-50 entry in 2009. A K-guard entry. He's going for a knee bar here. Toe hold. He's going for a toe hold here. Should switch to a heel hook here, but. Uh, 
strange as he tapped from that. I mean, he is torquing his hip into the knee. It can act as kind of an off-angled knee bar. Westbrook, take him down. He might pull again. He could really... Yeah, he's going to pull again. Pull the kid. Oh, man, if that... Ooh, slams Westbrook down. Climbing up for the triangle. Triangle's locked in now. Got to watch the slam. Yep, he's going to waste a lot of energy. He's definitely done a little bit of training, this kid, 100%. Guillotine, standing guillotine is going to definitely work. Taps him out with a standing guillotine. But yeah, the kid has trained before. I can see that he has some awareness. That got him, though. Hurry up and work it. A little high school wrestling here. Oh, head outside position. But he has to start angling off on that single. Westbrook controlling the near side angle. Oh, switches over now. What is he looking for here? Looks like he had a modified Kimura. The grappling was decent. Listen, you can improve your grappling quite a bit if you check out my Patreon. It's linked in the comment below. We go over jujitsu, grappling, and we're even getting into different shit. We're talking about behind the scenes footage. I'm gonna start vlogging soon. And even a podcast we're gonna be doing that's gonna be only for Patreon. I will not be trying to monetize the podcast in its early phase, so it'll only be exclusive on Patreon. You can check it out. Tier two and up is where you'll get all the exclusive stuff, but even if you wanna pay just $5, you'll get access to a lot of cool shit. You'll see all of these videos usually a few days early. <laughs> Yo, man. Hey, how's your arm, Jerry? How's your dignity? Still intact? <laughs> now, I'm gonna give him another chance to make five grand. If he can make it for three minutes against my MMA fighter in the kickboxing round. If he quits, gets KO'd, or the ref has to stop the fight, the whole 5K goes to his victims, Eric and Nicholas. You can buy a lot that of that Viagra with that $5,000. Okay, let's see. Can he make it three minutes with uh, Westbrook? Oh, we're letting the hands go now. Westbrook getting a little off balance. Oh, the right hand lands. The left hook lands. Another right hand. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, my man's throwing kicks. Just front kicks for days. <laughs> Westbrook has such long arms, he could punch you from across the cage. Landing hard shots, looks for the overhand. Frames with the right form to create space and goes back to the jab. Ooh, left uppercut, leading with it. Nah, he's trying to just knock him out with the hands. Need him in the boy, can't me. There we go. Those are the shots we're looking for. What I don't understand is Westbrook. The guy goes high with his hands and shells up. Ripped to the spleen, lip, ripped to the liver. Get his hands back down against the cage. Pull, counter if he tries to throw something back, which he's probably not going to. But you got to get his hands down because the kid I means all padding. Just padding, padding. It's exhausted. Go to him. There we go. There we go. That hurt him. That right hand kind of wobbled him a bit. One more combination. Gotta finish it. Ooh, that was a hard shot. That was a hard shot. That was a beautiful shot that he hit him with right there. I don't know if that was to the body or to the chin. It may have been to the solar plex area. Come on, get up. That's what I'm saying. He should have went to the body when he was against the cage. Okay. Phenomenal pain. Come on, get up. Eight, nine. It's over. You guys feel bad about that? Yeah, me neither. Me neither. So that last punch was great. He bladed his stance. He went right, right side forward and just darted him like a fencer straight to the body, right to the solar plex. And I mean, it's hard to recover from that, especially if you catch a person. As they're breathing, boom, straight shot. Knocks all the air out of you. Garrett, how's it feel, Garrett? How's it feel, Garrett? You gonna get sick? Yeah, yeah. Feel good? Yeah, man. It was hard. The bully had a hard time. You got tapped out twice the first round, so you made yourself the small stack, 3,000 bucks. But the big stack goes over to your victim. Yeah. And after taxes, right? Fucking IRS taking everything we work for. So overall, you know, I see uh, my mistakes in the past and all that. Maybe it's that time. Sorry. That's nice. Thank you. 
Yeah, you, let's shake it out a little bit. Ultimately, at the end, I kind of beat back. But you know, there's a lesson to be learned here. And not lesson was humidity. Humidity, but humidity. And. Yeah, he's as dumb as a rock. We love Bully Beatdown. Strangle Gang, I appreciate all of you continuing to support the channel. And the fact that the channel is growing is all the proof I need. Make sure you guys check me out on Twitter and Instagram. If you guys want to watch any more episodes of Bully Beatdown or any of the other shows that I cover, click one of the playlists that are about to pop up now. <laughs>